Hello, 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 my crafty friends. Welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. I'm Tanner Bell, the founder of Makers Gonna Learn, and we are so excited to have you guys here today because we are talking all things Cricut Joy. As you guys know, I headed out to Salt Lake City for the launch party um, of this right here. It ended up launching it right at the open house in Salt Lake City. It was so much fun. And yesterday I headed over to Michael's and I picked up Cricut Joy and literally everything that they have to offer because I want to be able to give you guys a full in-depth review, not only of the machine, but we want to dive in and discuss with you guys the comparison between the machines and all of the additional materials and products involved with Cricut Joy. The biggest question we've been asking, um, myself included, is does someone that already has a maker, an explorer, or a Cricut in general need to add the Cricut Joy to their craft room? We're gonna be discussing that today, and if you are someone that's on the fence about purchasing a Cricut Joy, I think we have some really great stats to share with you, um, and we're gonna enjoy it a lot. If you're brand new to crafting and you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, Channel. We are the home for DIY education using your Cricut machine. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get started crafting along with us. And if you're on the fence about joining our membership, it is National Craft Month. So go ahead and use the coupon code MAKE for $20 off our best value year membership. So let's go ahead and jump in to unboxing the Cricut Joy. All right, guys, here's the Cricut Joy. It's your DIY best friend. Now, the box, guys, is really small. Like, look right here. It is only nine and a half inches by about seven and a quarter. Um, so you've got a really small box. You really do have a nice compact cutting machine. I think this machine right here is gonna be great for people that's on the go, that travel, are you camping, and you still wanna be able to cricket and things like that. This is gonna be really good for those diehard um, cricketers that wanna take this um, to different vending events and things like that. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take our True Control knife and we're just gonna open this up. I'm so excited. So I have seen one of these um, in person before at that event, but I've not personally used it. Um, I wanted to save all my reviews and first impressions for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up here. We're just gonna open the lid just like so. And as soon as you open the box, Cricut always has some of the best packaging. Um, you can just go ahead and lift it up. Now this right here, guys, I mean, you can hold it in the palm of your hand. I mean, it is unbelievable at how tiny um, and how adorable it is. So let's go ahead and sit it down. They have it nice and wrapped. Again, I'm gonna pull out the measuring tape right here and you have roughly eight and a half by maybe you know, a little bit like six. Um, so it's a really small compact machine. Now, before we even unwrap it, guys, I wanna share with you, there's no USB to my knowledge. This is all Bluetooth. Um, so you will have to be able to connect this via Bluetooth. If that scares you, um, I think it'll be a great little task for you guys to overcome. Um, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm just going to poke this right here and then we're going to be able to unwrap it. So first things first, I love the Cricut logo right here, just embossed on it. The design of this machine is super sleek, it's super simple, and I'm so excited because Cricut has picked up Target as one of their um, retail partners, and I think this machine right here is gonna be such a great addition for people that have never even thought about crafting, but walk into Target and decide that they need to craft. So right here, you guys can see, this is the Cricut Joy. I mean, it is totally, it's a palm on your, like it can fit in the palm of your hand. And I mean, there's honestly not much to share with it. Now this right here is pretty matte. So you've got matte and then you have this glossy um, this, and then you just open it and then this is it. So you guys can see, it does have a new blade. Um, housing so you do have to buy a special blade for that but look at how tiny hold on one second guys I cannot believe the comparison um, of this so you have this one and I'm grabbing my other one this is your comparison between the two blades I was curious why Cricut had to redesign the blade but it's honestly like half the size um, so I'm sure that was very challenging for the engineer team um, but it looks it looks beautiful um, really cool and then it just kind of goes into that spot and then you can close it so this right here is pretty much it there's a little piece of plastic we can take out it looks like here in a minute um, I'll just grab that right now but let's go ahead and take a look what else is in the box so right here 
you guys have the box. Um, it says open me. So this is your Cricut Joy and you can just go ahead and open this. So as you open it, you will see the let's get started and this is everything that's included. Here's your warranty information. There's some safety instructions as well. So to get started, you have the let's get started package, which is just going to let you guys know how to set it up um, and then what the two things included is. Um, so you have a sample of the smart vinyl, which I cannot wait to talk about um, some of the comparisons of the smart vinyl. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then the blade. So that's it. And then step three, you'll see you have quite a bit of fun things. So you can go to cricut.com slash create to see more on that. Um, this right here is a little bit of a sample. And then right here, you are go get a sample of the Smart Vinyl. Now, if you are brand new to Cricut um, or just new to Cricut Joy in general, Smart Vinyl is something that you do not need a mat for. So you'll notice Smart Vinyl has this right here where it's going to go into the machine and it's gonna be really, really great. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, you know, you don't have to use a mat to cut Smart Vinyl. So they do give you a sample of this so that you're able to go ahead and um, test it out to see if you like it. Um, and we'll be talking more about Smart Vinyl after we discuss the price points on the machine. So stay, stick with us to hear a whole breakdown on the material later in the video. Now guys, look at this cutting mat. This cutting mat is so adorable. Here's my hand just as a quick reference, like size wise. So let's go ahead and open this up and you do get a green mat with the Cricut Joy. So right here, um, you get the beautiful standard grip Cricut Joy mat. One thing is a lot of people are purchasing this machine to make on the go cards. Um, and you do have to purchase that mat separately, which is totally fine. Um, but just to let you guys know, this is everything. And then down here, you're going to get, oh, I spoke too soon. You're going to get one sample marker. Now to my knowledge, they had to also redesign the markers and pins. So this is again, a Cricut Joy pin. The Cricut Ma Joy materials are only going to work in the Cricut Joy. A lot of these, almost every single one of these do not transfer over to the other machines and vice versa. So really when you're purchasing a Cricut Joy, that is an ecosystem of its own. Um, so you do want to be mindful of that when you're buying material and things like that. Not many are go crossover um, or different things like that. So you do get this and then look, this totally so sleek, so simple. Um, and you have this little thing. So we're gonna go ahead and now break down the different comparisons between all three Cricut machines. All right, guys, so we've been able to unbox the Cricut Joy and we are so excited to now kind of give you a quick breakthrough on which machine is what price and why you may want a Cricut Joy versus a Cricut Explorer versus a Maker and trying to decide which one is right for you. We love putting together these unbiased reviews of machines because we love Cricut and we love using our machines. We use them every single day. But what we want to do more than just tell you guys to purchase a Cricut is to help you guys make the best buying decisions. So first of all, if you have a Cricut Explorer or a Cricut Maker, this is not something you have to run out and purchase. I've said this from the beginning. I do not think the Cricut Joy market is necessarily made for people that are already crafters. I think this is a great entry level machine that you are going to want to pick up if you are someone that has no idea what crafting is. If you wanna organize your kitchen or closet and you wanna be able to make vinyl decals, but you may not necessarily be a crafter. Um, so a lot of crafters have had a lot of input on the Cricut Joy um, and I just quite frankly think this is not maybe a machine that every crafter has to have. Now, if you're a crafter that are doing great events, you're traveling, making custom projects while traveling for um, different vendor events and things like that, this could be a great alternative to lugging around an explorer or a maker. So we have on each machine, the price point. So the Cricut Joy right here at MSRP retails at $179.99. Now this right here can do 5.5 inches of cutting up to 20 feet. But here's the catch. You cannot cut 20 feet of anything. You can only design up to four feet um, and then it can repeat up to 20 feet. So I hope that makes sense for you. Um, you know, when it says you can do up to 20 
feats of cuts, you really can only do 5.5 to 4 um, over the course of 20 feet. So that has been a big question and a big thing a lot of people have been comparing about and I highly recommend if you're on the fence about getting a Cricut Joy continue watching this video all the way through because after we break down the comparison between the machines we're going to bring in all the different material it takes for the Cricut Joy and compare it to regular products so stay tuned for that um, but this is the Cricut Joy there again is no USB you have to use Bluetooth um, this is something that is compact it's small this is not something you'll be able to cut really thick materials on the three materials that you're going to want to stick to with the Cricut Joy um, is really paper vinyl and iron on those are pretty much the three that they have available for you um, already to use in this machine so stick um, with those three probably and it's gonna be pretty easy for you guys to use and have a lot of fun with I really love the idea of it again you could keep this in a kitchen drawer on a shelf um, maybe not necessarily something you need in the craft room but this is definitely not something I would recommend for your first machine and because you can look right over here um, and see the Cricut Air 2. Now the Cricut Air 2 MSRP is $249.99. Now guys, there are plenty of instances that you're going to be able to find and explore cheaper than the Cricut Joy. Believe it or not, you'll be able to cut 12 by 24 inches with a Cricut Explorer um, compared to the Cricut Joy. So there's definitely um, a close price for the two um, and I've seen a lot of people going ahead and getting the Cricut Joy as their first machine and that's something that we would probably not recommend just because you're going to be limited very quickly. If you have this as your only machine um, and you're wanting to cut iron on, you're only able to make 5.5 inches wide designs and most of the designs we make with um, Cricut and things like that for shirts are usually like eight inches by eight inches um, so like I said you're gonna be limited very quickly um, with the Cricut Joy if it's your standalone machine so for just a little bit more money you're gonna not only be able to cut things like magnet sheets chipboard I mean the possibilities with this Explorer 2 is endless if you have the Cricut printable guide from makers gonna learn you get it for free when you're a member you're gonna see there's endless materials you're able able to cut with the different blades we have available um, and it's just quite frankly easier and very um, less intimidating um, so that is a big comparison and honestly if you're already committed to $179.99 jumping up to the 249 which again do your research find it on sale do your due diligence you'll find it cheaper um, and you can get an Explorer 2 very easily and then you're maybe saying Tanner I want to know what the best Cricut machine is I've heard the buzz of the Cricut Joy what would you recommend if you're starting out and have a little bit more that's what I'd recommend the Cricut Maker. This machine right here is the top of the notch machine right now in the market. Um, it has the Cricut adaptive tool system. It has 10 times the pressure of a Cricut Explorer. Um, and this will retail at $399.99. Um, and again, you can find this cheaper. I know um, there's a few different places online that you can find it um, quite a bit cheaper, or you can find it in bundles with everything you need to get started. So so that is the three different breakdowns, but for the Cricut Joy, we're going to have a full in-depth review with first cuts and things like that. But for the people that really need to know right out of the gate, do I need to go to Michael's and grab this? Um, you know, this is a quick breakdown of what, you know, size-wise you're going to have. Um, we'll do some first cuts and things so be sure to check out our Cricut Joy playlist that we'll be adding as we make more videos on the Cricut Joy um, and as we do some first cuts impressions we'll have some live streams on this as well so stay tuned for that um, where you can ask your questions live and things like that and kind of see what the audience feels on the topic I highly recommend 
doing your due diligence before purchasing um, this machine. A lot of Cricut influencers um, are, you know, just go tell every crafter to go out and get one. And I don't think it may be necessary um, for you, but if you are just really excited about it as I am, no one is going to judge you at Makers Gonna Learn for picking one up because we are definitely obsessed with it as well. I mean, there are like absolutely no buttons on this thing and it just looks super cool. Who knows, maybe this will motivate you um, or any of your family members to craft along with you as well um, with the Cricut Joy. So let's go ahead and now take a look at all of the new smart vinyls and compare it to some regular um, Oracle vinyls and things like that. All right, guys, I went on a little bit of a haul at Michael's. So here's my receipt and here's everything that I was able to get with this right here for $416. Um, I saved $121. So each of the prices that you'll see on a sticky note is regular MSRP. The sale that I was able to take part in was the buy one, get one 50% off. So this right here is buy one, get one 50% off for the launch of the Cricut Joy. Now the Cricut Joy itself, I just want to confirm, was not on sale. Um, it was $179.99 regular MSRP. Um, and then everything that you see here would be buy one, get one 50% off. So for example, where this right here is $28.99, my return value would be $22.50 um, or something like that. So that is a quick breakdown of everything you can get for your Cricut Joy starting out. And you're gonna be looking at after getting a little bit of vinyl, a little bit of smart vinyl, a little bit, you know, your favorite mat for the new cards, a longer mat because these mats are not included. You get a little baby mat, um, your machine, everything. You're looking at about around $400 to get started with Cricut Joy. And of course you can start with less. This is not everything you need. I honestly was in a rush worried about them not having a Cricut Joy. I grabbed everything um, and then just ran over. Um, so a few of my friends came out with brand new paper packs in partnership with Cricut. So be sure to check out Natalie's or Jen Goody's new paper pack. Um, I'm so excited to get those. Um, but this is kind of my haul and now I want to kind of break down each of the different products from the mats to everything um, to kind of compare what regular ones would be as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at some awesome products. Guys, let's go ahead and first take a look at some of the mats. So this mat right here is a 4.5 by 12 inch mat. You can get these singles, um, so meaning one mat for $9.99 whether you want a standard grip or a light grip mat. Now in comparison to a regular Cricut mat that is 12 by 12, you can get two of them for $12.99. So you, with your regular Cricut mats, they are $12.99 for two, two 12 by 12 mats compared to the Cricut Joy mats that you're only getting one and paying $10 for each one. Um, so that is a little sad to me because again, you don't even get to cut up to six inches with this mat. You get to cut four and a half inches by 12. And this is just some of the facts that I think other Cricut influencers are trying to stray away from. And guys, I promise, you know, we are an affiliate with Cricut. We are affiliate on Amazon. So if you do choose to get a Cricut Joy, we would love, love, love for you guys to use our links down below. But before anything, my integrity, just being able to paint a perfectly clear picture on this machine is more important than any affiliate commission we could ever make here. Um, and that is why we really wanna break down the different comparisons for you guys with these products. So that's these mats. And then if you take a look at the other ones, um, you can see you can get these for $5.99 for the brand new card mat. And I have to say, I am blown away. I love this innovation. This is probably the most innovative um, thing I've seen aside from the smart vinyl um, with the Cricut Joy, which is really cool. So you can make custom cards in minutes and we cannot wait to have a whole video on this. Um, you guys can kind of take a look. Um, you put the card actually 
in it and then it cuts and then you add in your slit. So that's super cool. We may have to design some really great card files um, to take advantage of this card mat. So this one's only $5.99, which I think is a great price for such great innovation. Um, but what also confuses me is for a dollar less, you're getting um, a 4.5 by 6.5 mat. Um, so again, comparing these prices of mats to regular Cricut mats, um, it is a little disappointing, um, you know, when you think it all through. So again, this is just another reason why I would probably stick with my Explore or Maker, um, you know, from the mat perspective. All right, guys, so the next thing we wanna talk about is the new Cricut Joy Deluxe Paper. So you're getting 10 sheets of 4.5 by 12 inch Cricut Joy paper. Now, one thing that I did not know until really looking at this is it's adhesive backed. So I, this is gonna be a first impressions of me opening this and kind of giving a review because on Cricut.com, you can purchase um, 10 sheets of regular 12 by 12 Cricut cardstock, not adhesive backed, um, for $7.99 and you're getting 12 by 12. So if you can provide your own adhesive um, for a dollar more, you're getting pretty much double. Um, so that is something you wanna be able to look at. But right here, you can kind of feel the paper. Um, I can't really feel the paper too much because it has like transfer tape or something on the back. This is very interesting to me. Um, so if you peel it up, this is really, really cool. So let's see if you need a mat to cut with this. So even though it has this like really sturdy material um, on the back, you still have to use a lot grip mat with this paper, which is interesting. So let's go ahead and try to peel this paper back. I've not worked with it, um, you know, or used it. So this is just something I wanna give a review right now for. So right here, um, you pretty much will have to cut with it. It's like a sticker. Um, it's very thick. I mean, it seems pretty nice quality. I'm not sure in too many instances that I need such nice adhesive backed cardstock. I've been a paper crafter for a decade um, and I'm not sure when this would be, you know, needed. Um, but if you can afford it, um, this is some really interesting new materials. This is probably something I would, I will test out, but it's probably not something that I would want to budget um, as an everyday crafting essential, if that makes sense. But props to them for some really awesome um, patterns and different things like that. All right, my friends, now let's talk about one thing that Cricut is super excited to release, which is the Smart Permanent Vinyl. Now this right here only works in the Cricut um, Joy Machines. So this right here is a 5.5 by 240 inch, um, which is 20 feet of Smart Permanent Vinyl for the hefty price of $28.99. So again, 5.5, um, inches by 240 inches. So you're getting 1,320 square inches for $28.99. Now you guys know we love, love, love our Oracal 651 vinyl. If you were to buy this amount of square inches, you could purchase two 12 inch by five feet pieces of Oracal 651 which would actually be 1,440 square inches. So roughly about 100 extra inches for the price point of $5.90. So this is $30, or you could purchase regular vinyl, use it on your mat, do a little bit extra work, be able to cut up to 12 inches um, and purchase that for $5.90. And that was the price on 651vinyl.com with no coupon. And again, this is regular MSRP, um, you know, no coupons for this either. Or you could purchase a one 12 inch by 10 yard piece of 651 or a cal, um, which would be 4,300 square inches for $16.89. So again, you would get four times the amount of vinyl that this right here is for half, a little bit less than half the price, um, which is very impressive to me, or a little bit more than half the price because it's $16.89. But it's unbelievable. It's crazy to me um, at how 
expensive this is, I would really deem the new Smart Vinyl, um, quite frankly, a luxury. Um, so if you are someone that wants to stay on a budget, and even if you have the money to purchase, again, this is not something that I would put in my everyday crafting. This is something I'm going to test and have fun with, but this is not something that even we will be able to budget for in our everyday crafting. So it's very shocking um, for the smart vinyl prices. Now, if you wanna get the 10 foot permanent smart vinyl, um, they're $14.99, which guys, you can still purchase a lot more for your money with Oracle 651. So $28.99 or $14.99, um, you know, you can still save a lot of money um, by just picking up regular or a cow 651 vinyl or you can just purchase regular cricket vinyl um, and have great success so please do your math do some due diligence um, when looking at this because yes the machine is a big investment but it looks like the vinyl and materials are even another large 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 investment Next up, you have the Cricut Joy Blade and Housing. Now, you do get a blade, but if you ever lose it and need to purchase another one, I know you'll be traveling with your Cricut Joy. Um, this blade is $32.99 compared to the $34.99 price at Cricut.com. So nothing too shocking here. Um, you know, typical pricing for blades. And then you can see right here, you can get replacement blades for $12.99. So pretty similar um, across the board when it comes to your blades. All right, guys, so for transfer tape, you're getting 5.5 inches by 20 feet for $17.99 with the Smart Vinyl and with regular Cricut transfer tape, which would be 12 inches wide um, in a roll that is 10 feet long, you're gonna be paying the same price. So it looks like for transfer tape, it's about the same. So again, maybe this would be something you'd wanna pick up if you like Cricut transfer tape. You guys know we have a few other um, cheaper, cheaper alternatives like our paper transfer tape and there's a few other brands if you're a budget crafter. So look into that as well. And right here are the brand new insert cards. So in the insert cards, you are going to get the physical card, the inserts, um, which is the paper you put on the back that you do not cut, and then you also get an envelope. So you get 12 in each pack of um, for $6.99, so you get 12 sets. So you're able to make 12 full cards with envelopes, um, you know, the card, the insert, and the envelope. You make 12 of them in each set, for $6.99, which I think is a pretty nice price. Again, maybe a luxury um, product where everything's kind of done for you. You're able to set it, um, cut it, and then just finish it out. So this is something that I would probably maybe add into my typical crafting potentially, um, you know, just because they have done all the guesswork out of cutting and things like that. And sometimes I'm willing to pay for a little bit more of a luxury product. So this right here, I think I give it two thumbs up. Their Smart Iron-On is a little bit um, more expensive as well. So this is um, a 5.5 by 24 inch sheet for $7.99, as well as three 5.5 by 12 inch sheets for $10.99. So this is, you know, the Smart Iron-On, you do not have to involve the mat with it and things like that. So you can, you know, be aware of that. But again, that's just what you'll be looking at if you would like Smart Iron-On. I would again look at regular Cricut Iron-On or maybe even potentially look at Caesar Easy Weed, which is a very um, comparable product as well. And last but not least, you'll have to purchase new markers or pins with the Cricut Joy, um, and these retail about $8.99 per pin set. Well, guys, this is it. I hope I was able to inform you not only what you get when you purchase a Cricut Joy, what machine may be right for you, but also some great information on all the different products that you must have to utilize Cricut Joy at its fullest potential. Some things that people may have left out, and we want to make sure you guys get the full picture and have a lot of fun crafting no matter which machine you own. We absolutely love Cricut and all the different machines they make, and we're excited to see how many new crafters get started thanks to Cricut Joy. If you guys are already a member of Makers Gonna Learn, thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. If you're not already a member, be sure to check out our membership site. It'll be the first link down below. It is our National Craft Month sale, so you can save $20 on our year membership using the coupon code MAKE. You guys get over 2,000 cut files, 250 
plus fonts only for our year members, as well as complimentary courses, a commercial license, and so much more. If you're a diehard crafter or a beginner needing support, definitely check that out down below. Um, if you decide to purchase a Cricut Joy, we would love your support if you decide to order from Amazon or Cricut.com. Those are some amazing places to pick up different things. Be sure to check out our shop Cricut link down below. We're going to go ahead and link on Amazon and on Cricut.com the Cricut Joy so you can check that out and we're super super excited. We even have a Makers Gonna Learn coupon code that we'll have down below for Cricut.com. So Thank you guys so much for watching this in-depth video on the Cricut Joy. We cannot wait to add more videos to the playlist. We're going to do first cuts. We're going to teach you all how to make cards. It's going to be a lot of fun. But before we did any of that, we really wanted to make sure that you guys knew um, the full picture on the Cricut Joy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.